ESPN NBA insider J.A. Adande joins us now. J.A., how does this signing impact what else the Clippers can do? Well, the only downside for it now, this was their primary goal coming into free agency season. They mission accomplished for them, but it will take them over the salary cap, so that means they can't be in contention for the likes of, say, an Andre Iguodala or a Josh Smith. Not that they necessarily want a guy at Blake Griffin's position, but they won't be able to go after some of the marquee free agents out there. Uh, the interesting thing is how far will they go uh, in adding other players, will they go above the luxury tax apron, which is that mark $4 million above the luxury tax that basically acts as a hard cap and prevents them from using some of the other exceptions out there. So that's something to monitor with them as they fill out their roster. They also have contacted some of their own free agents, including Matt Barnes and Lamar Odom. Uh, they do save about $2 million with the retirement at Grant Hill. So they have a little bit of money up to the luxury tax, but they're not going to be big spenders in free agency now that they got their main guy, Chris Paul.